20 years ago to the day, the Croatian army launched Operation Storm. The objective was to retake control of Serbian-occupied territory inside Croatia. It pitted some 130,000 Croatian troops against an estimated 30,000 Serb fighters. Both sides still disagree on what happened during the four-day offensive. Separatists had seized the region around Kinin and drove out its Croat population, declaring it as the Republic of Serbian Krajina. Just some 84 hours later, however, Croatian forces took back control of the disputed region. Hundreds of civilians were killed, yet Franjo Tuđman, the president of Croatia, was held as a hero on the streets of Zagreb. That military operation saw some 200,000 ethnic Serbs flee their homes into today's Serbia, Montenegro and Bosnia. Most of them would never return. Ahead of what Zagreb calls a victory parade, human rights campaigners say the event should remember all of those who lost their lives, irrespective of their origins. Nela Pamukovic is a well-known Croatian activist. We want to remind the public not just about the crimes committed during Operation Storm, but also the organized state denial of these crimes. Tomorrow's military parade seems to be preparing for a new war without finishing the last one. The state hasn't taken responsibility. It failed to investigate these crimes and didn't establish the facts. In February, the International Court of Justice in The Hague rejected claims of genocide made by Serbia and Croatia against each other.